This is Adom, and I'm going to continue the character I was playing earlier, which was Orky Stab the Orkish Assassin. So that was about two weeks ago, which was on version 2.3.6. Suddenly we're on version 2.3.8. I don't think there's been any major changes, I think it's just been bug fixes. But let's carry on and load our character. How far did we get? We got to level 4. And if I remember rightly, we're in the village dungeon about to go down the stairs. Are we only on level 1 of the village dungeon? Yes we are. So let's go downstairs and see what we can see. Get rid of that cobbled. Now I think we've got a pretty decent melee attack at the moment. So, And I think we've got a decent shield. Yeah, decent shield. So there's probably not that much. A Fletchery set? I don't think we have archery, do we? Or do we? Uh, how do I see my list of skills? Press A to show all skills. There we go. Um, I don't think we have the skill that's required to use a Fletchery set. So it's not by picking it up. Ooh, a long, long corridor. Oh, level 5. There we go. That didn't take long. What have we got? So, alertness is good. I'll increase that. Detect traps. Dodge is good. Let's increase that. Find weakness is good. Let's increase that. Oh, I forgot. One more. Uh, maybe literacy. There we go. Open the door. The door is locked. Alright, this is where I should be using my Detect Trap skill. Let's do that a few times. So if I don't find anything in, say, 10 goes, it's pretty unlikely that it's trapped. So I think we can safely kick the door open. There we go. So I think I ran away from a locked door earlier. Which I shouldn't have done, because I've got the Detect Trap skills, so I should be able to tell um, whether there's a trap or not. So we found the downstairs then, but we might as well go and explore the rest of this level in case we find something exciting. Might as well eat the corpse. Do we have a missile weapon? No, we don't. I'd love to find a bow. I think we picked up some arrows. It'd be very useful if I could find a bow. Uh, I could have picked up those rocks and used those as a missile weapon, but I don't know. Bows are just so much more effective that it never seems worth it using rocks. Oh, the that door's locked. Uh, so let's apply our detect trap skill again. I think we're safe. Yes. Right, so not much else going on on this level, so let's head back to the downstairs. Ooh, a thin potion. Interesting. So this is level 3. So we're still not that deep in the dungeon, so I'm not expecting anything too problematic. Um, not for this character anyway, but we'll see. Famous last word in Adon. You never really know what's around the corner. Of course, if something like a vile spirit appears, then I'm probably dead. Leather armor? Probably not worth it. 
Right, so there's the downstairs. Let's go exploring a bit. This is good training for our detect trap skill as well. Nothing there, so I think I'm safe to kick that open. Do you find the early gaming aid on sometimes is all about door management? Sometimes you get a trap door in a place you really want to get to and then you have to make a decision whether you want to kick it open or not. Okay, so here's a claw bug. So they penetrate armour but I'm pretty sure our melee attack should be enough to get rid of them pretty quickly. There we go. One hit. Ooh, a fire bug as well. A fire beetle. Oh, I, I would love to be able to eat that fire beetle corpse but I'm bloated. That's annoying. That's very annoying, because there's a chance that could give fire resistance to this character. Do I have that torch? I have that clear potion. So that's that's lesson one that I've forgotten: is never run around bloated, because you might find a corpse that you really want to eat, and when you're bloated, you can't eat any, any, you can't eat anything, which is annoying. Uh, actually, I should probably pick it up and at least carry it around until either it rots away or I become hungry enough to eat it. Oh, a friendly bugbear. You notice a slurping sound in the distance. So that means spiders. So that could be the first problem that we come across. Spiders and poison is a problem. Ah, satiated, right. Let's eat that fire beetle corpse. You suddenly feel very hot. I can't remember if that means we've got fire resistance or not. Doesn't sound like it, does it? Do you suddenly feel very hot? I don't know. Ooh, crude spear, I'll pick that up. And crimson potion. I won't try equipping the crude spear until I've got some way of ensuring that it's not cursed. Ooh, if I hit there, supply first aid. Aha! Through this bat. Level 6. You can now create poison from any potion. Could be handy. We haven't used poison yet. Maybe I should be. So let's increase. I might come back to alchemy. Let's have a bit of alertness. Let's have some more dodge. Some more fine weakness. Maybe a bit more fine weakness. And we could go for literacy. What else have we got down here? Let's go for literacy again. Oh, why is that? Oh, is that it? Oh, a talent to choose. Oh, no, I can't remember what you've already chosen. Um. <laughs> I was probably going for... oh there we go, Treasure Hunter. Let's go for that. That's the one I was after. Let's get rid of this goblin and let's talk to you. Should I heal you? No, I don't really need to be healed. Fairly well. Ah, now can we learn... Uh, 
Okay, so is this going to be a problem? We are chaotic at the moment. So I think... Uh-oh. Oh, this is a problem. Poisoned. Okay, so let's try and get rid of these snakes, and then I might go get healed. Right, let's, uh, this is going badly. Apply first aid. This is going very badly. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to get back to the healer. Oh my god, I'm, I... Let's pray. You healed. But I'm still poisoned. Let's see if Jared can fix that. Yes, please, heal me. Excellent, so poison's gone. Back to full health. Use up some piety in praying, which is a bit annoying. But at least I'm not dead. Pit Viper Corpse. Now. So eating that might give me poison resistance. Let's find out. You too full to eat this right now. I've done it again. I'm bloated. I'll come back to that corpse. Ooh, attention room. So this is goblins and rats. Should be quite straightforward. That was a, that was a tough bat. Making short work of these. Hopefully there will be a decent amount of loot. Apply first aid. Oh no, I can't. What have we got? Lots of whips. Don't really want those. Slimy potion, I'll take that. Large ration, I'll take that. Where should we go next? If we, we haven't found the stairs yet. So let's continue exploring. Ooh, let's detect traps first before I start kicking that door. I think we're safe. Actually, I should probably pick up that pit viper corpse, shouldn't I? If I'm thinking about eating that. Let's take that with us. Level 7. We are rocketing through the levels here. So alertness is almost at its maximum, so I don't really want to increase that. Archery is probably useful, but I haven't found a bow yet. Um, find weakness is always good. Let's increase literacy again. So let's put a few points into alchemy. Let's see what recipes we get. Might as well put some into archery. That'll be useful later. I assume we'll find a bow at some point. Ooh, that's the second white worm. So maybe there's a few of them around. They breed quite quickly. Let's just... Explore.
So we found the downstairs. Anything down here? No. Alright, let's go back. Brass knuckles. Do I have any gloves? Yes. So let's go exploring to level 5. Scale mail, 200 stones. That's an interesting weight. I might try that on. See how that compares to what we've got. Light scale mail. So which one to go for? Studded leather armour or light scale mail? I think the studded leather armour is still better. So let's drop that. It's even though it's light, it's quite heavy, and I'm not going to use it over the the leather armor. We satiate it. Do I still have that pit viper corpse? Yes. Let's try eating it. A very bitter flavor. You feel really satiated now. Well, at least it didn't poison me, but I also don't think I got poison resistance from that, which is a pity. Another locked door. Check for traps. A booby trap. Okay. Right, so that is problematic. That, I think, is the only way out of this area of the level. I haven't found the downstairs yet. I probably don't have any way of digging through the walls. Um, I don't have disarm traps. So booby traps are a whole lot type of trap where they'll just destroy some of your equipment randomly. But. I really need healing from this level, from this dungeon. So I just don't think I've got an alternative. Let's see what happens. That's okay. I lost two health, two hit points, and didn't lose any equipment. I applied first aid. I only lost one hit point. That was a brilliant result. I could have gone a lot worse. Multicolored cloak. That's interesting. The cloak of adornment. I'll keep my hooded cloak. Another locked door. Search for traps. I need to search, can't I? No traps. Oh, downstairs, right. We'll go down there shortly. Let's just check what else is going on. So I'm getting tension messages. There'll be a tension room somewhere full of monsters. Atmosphere of this room makes your skin tingle. Some sort of magic effect. More arrows. So I'm good for arrows, just need a bow. Ah, so there's a tension room somewhere on this level. Oh, there is a bit I haven't explored. Let's just go back down there. Watery potion. Let's see what's down here. So I'm expecting a tension room at the end of this corridor. 
full of monsters. Hopefully nice, easily killable monsters that will give me lots of experience. <coughs> oh well, what have we got? Claw bugs, not ideal. But they breed, so the quicker we kill them, the better. That's good, get through them quickly. Nice. Crossbows. Ooh, and a spell book. Let's pick that up. I'm not going to bother picking up the crossbows. I haven't got any quarrels. I've just got arrows. There's a lot of rats around. There must be a wee rat somewhere. Summoning them. Hard girdle. Let's try that on. Girdle of carrying. I'll have that. I assume that's not cursed. No. Good of carrying, perfect. Right then, let's go downstairs to level six. Let's search for traps. There's another tension room on this room on this level somewhere. Giant lizard. An eight stone dagger, I'll pick that up. And I won't go down those den stairs quite yet. Let's explore the rest of the level first. No traps, I think we're safe. There we go. Holy symbol, that is very useful. I'll put that in my tool slot. Let's check it's not cursed. So every time you use that. Oh. Every time you use a holy symbol, you gain a little bit of piety, which only goes up to a certain level. But especially because I've used rare already. My piety will be quite low at the moment. So I'm going to keep that handy so every time I've got some spare turns I'll spend them praying for piety. Wow, here we go. So what are these? Berserkers. No, barbarians. Let's see how easily we can take care of them. That's going pretty well. And another level. Let's put some points into... Born to find weakness. And a bit more. And... What else do we have? Maybe some more into literacy. There we go. Oh, one more. Oh, pick locks. Oh, I haven't got any lock picks. But that's one way to deal with locked doors. Uh, let's put some points into archery. There we go. So I'm losing a little bit of health, but not too much. That wasn't too bad. Oh, here we go, some bows and some braces. So let's try one of those bows and try the other bow. Ah, excellent. Oh, that's pretty cursed. We've got lots of arrows. I'm not sure how problematic it is that that's cursed. We'll find out. Um, yes. Let's carry on exploring. <laughs> P 
pit vipers. Right, I'm going to close that door and run away from those. After the problems they gave me last time. In fact, I'm going to close that door as well. You can't have too many doors between you and a load of pit vipers. Gelatinous cube. Ah, this is a good one to test my missile skills on. There we go. First arrow. That worked pretty well. And another one. So I think that's this level explored. So now it's time to find the downstairs, which I think are this way. Now I believe this is the bottom level of this dungeon. Oh no, oh what? <laughs> Unbelievable. Cave Tiger Tension Room. I'm just going to have to try and kill them all. They're tough as well. This is very sad. Killing cats in ADOM is a bad idea for late game reasons that I won't go into. So finding a Cave Tiger Tension Room is bad news, but there's nothing I can do about it. I need to get past them. I need the healing skill, which I think something on this level will help me get. Surely I can apply first aid. No. That is just terrible aid on luck. something invisible is hitting me for huge amounts of damage. This is a problem. This is a problem. Let's pray. So I'm healed. I'm going to try and go berserk and try and kill whatever it is quite quickly. You hear some low mumbling, so this isn't Ogre Magi who I think is about to kill me. <laughs> I've used up all my piety, but I really need to get rid of him. You hit something and slay it. Brilliant. Right. So I'm going to run away from this level temporarily to heal up. Running away is always a valid tactic in Adom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit here on these stairs, maybe with an eye looking down the corridor. Actually, no, I'm going to sit here on these stairs and pray. For a while. And hopefully, eventually, my health will return. This is also helping my piety as well. I could go all the way back up to level 4 to heal um, with the healer. 
I'll tell you what, this isn't very interesting. So I think this is a good place to stop the video. So I'll heal up before I go back downstairs to the next level. And this is a good place to stop. So I might, I'll save here.